So hello everyone and welcome back to the Orchid Saga. So yeah, I uh, sort of uh, dived in straight away in this video because I already have my uh, Venda Vietnamica on my uh, up potting table. Because I want to take it out, I have this growing in uh, self-watering, but I think it is not doing really well. So I will put her in a glass face uh, just like my other Vendas as well. Um, because I think it's a little bit too cold in winter. They can grow self-watering and it's uh, adapted uh, very nicely, but then over the winter it didn't start to look so well. So I think it's a little bit too cold uh, for my warmer growers sometimes, this setup. So uh, that's something that I will address more this year to see how to uh, improve on that. And because my other finders do like the Venda face uh, setup very well, so I will uh, give this uh, one the same setup. So I uh, already uh, did take off the pebbles that I use as a top dry layer. So let's take her out and have a look in the, uh, in the pot. First, uh, the water needs to drain out. So it looks not that bad, but... <laughs> well, actually we don't see any roots, so... Yeah, I have a root here. Here are some roots, I don't know if you can see it, but it's very dark. So uh, yeah, it's time to uh, get this one out, I believe. So therefore I need a, not a basket and I have my wireless mic so I can grab it and just still talking to you guys. And I have more room so I can reach in this new setup. But this bucket I like to use to collect most of the pumice. So yeah, here we go. Let's take her out and have a look. Oh my God. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> yeah, this was kind of what I did expect. Not looking so good. These are dead. This is dead. This is still alive. And it's probably the only one that was uh, inside of the pot. So therefore, yeah, it was time to uh, put her in a new setup. Let's, oh, I have this wire here that needs to come loose. And there it is. And then I have the water meter here with an old root on. If you can see there. <laughs> so yeah, I did start out well, but then it uh, did change because it did get colder, I believe. So therefore I need to uh, cut off the roots. Let's see, this feels sort of firm, but I think it's already dead. So that root can come off. This part is not well. Here, you can go. It might be alive, but the branches aren't, so let's take those off as well. Yeah, this one is okay. Mm, you can go. Part of that road can go, and this one. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. You need to go as well. And this one in the back. With some moss growing on it. <laughs> but yeah, that can go. This one can go. Let me check. It was very woody, so that could go as well. So this is uh, what I'm left with. So luckily we have some roots and we have at least this one. I will try to put this in the face as well. This one is not that bendy yet. And I know we can wet this root and then it makes it more flexible, but I think this one should grow on a little bit more and then I can 
hopefully maneuver it into the face, but I hope to get this one in so I can water it through these uh, roots that are uh, left here. So what I will do is I grab the face and we'll clean up a little bit and then we will be uh, right back and start putting her in a glass face. So we're back with the glass face and I just recently did upload a video for those who are curious to see how I make these or how I do attach them to the glass faces, the stakes. So that's uh, up and I will uh, link it um, in this video. Uh, so let's try to uh, put her in the new setup. And I want to put her in as low as I can because then there's more humidity around the roots in summer. So I will, yeah, I need to wet this root a little bit. Just spraying some uh, or all water with some seaweed on here just to see if I can make it a little bit more bendable movable just spray the rest a little bit as well and you can see that this root is perfectly fine because it's beautiful greening up so that's uh, something we can work with and this one does the same thing so yeah, there is uh, still uh, a live root here, luckily. So hopefully I am in time to save this one. Yeah, this is now working way better. Don't want to snap it. This is old. Let me, uh, that one is a little bit in the way. Pushing it back from the glass. So That's now on the floor, <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Um, and that was already dead, so slowly. And we move this in as well. Well, maybe. So it's wet a little bit more. And see if we can. I think it's a little too short and I'm going to break it and that's not a, what we want of course. Can I do this? No, it's too much pressure. So I have to wait a little bit for before I can put it in. If it's a little bit longer here, I think uh, I can take this part and put it in. Just wetting the roots because if you wet the roots, they are way flexible. So that really works because now I have this beautiful big root inside the glass face. So we can start uh, dehydrate of a di uh, <laughs> hydrate her with uh, through that root. Um, so I need a sort of I cannot push her. Yeah, the upper part I can now attach to the stake. Because the lower part has too many roots, so I cannot stake her there, but that's okay. As long as we have some point where we can uh, attach her to the stake. And if it's a little bit loose, that's okay too, as long as it stays into place. Uh, let me see, is this okay? I think it is, but I can... Let me make it a little bit tighter here, just in case. If we have new root tips, it's not handy to have your uh, have your orchid moving around too much, of course. So, uh, yeah, it's an old uh, vase, some tape on it. I couldn't get it off because then uh, we're left with the glue. But anyhow, this is the only phase that I have left. And uh, yeah, first thing is uh, to start to get adapt and grow again in the glass phase so, and then I can always change it but this is the one the only phase that I have left like I said so uh, 
and I'm, that doesn't bother me that much at this moment because I want to have this back to growing habit. I had it before in a glass phase and then she did uh, well. So I think it will uh, recoup again. And we have uh, spider, spiders, not spider mites, but spiders. So I have some uh, spider residue on the leaves. Maybe you saw it already. Now it's very easy to take off. The spiders are very helpful because they like uh, to eat other pests, so I don't mind them too much. But yeah, if the orchid is really covered in the spider webs, I uh, take them off, of course. So yeah, that looks better. But yeah, this root is still nice and green, and now it's drying up and it's uh, repositioned. And this one I will leave like it is because it's a little bit too much pressure here, and I, I probably will uh, will break it. So that's uh, that's not nice, of course. So the only thing that is left. For now, well, to put it back, of course, and to put the tag on. If I didn't show it, Vietnamica. It's this one. It's a beautiful one. I never had it in bloom. We did uh, do some uh, care collab about it, so probably in the near future we will do again. And then uh, we can see how this uh, does in her new setup. So this is a uh, fairly uh, quick... Um, Repot, I think, a new setup, and we will keep an eye on this one. And I think it will be do be uh, uh, yeah, better, way better than it was before. Like once again, because it's uh, too cold in winter for uh, for these guys, because these are very uh, warm growers, so they really enjoy the warm weather. They need it to grow, and I cannot give them that in winter. So let's see how uh, this does. For now, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me uh, leave them in the comment section below, and. Um, yeah, for now I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.